G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab and I'm here at Intersolar Europe on day two at this amazing event with Joey from ZYC. G'day Joey. G'day Glenn, how are you? Good, good. Now I'm new to this brand and this company. Tell me a bit about ZYC. Yeah, sure. So ZYC is a battery manufacturer uh, who focused on the off-grid battery for, with the experience for more than 10 years. And this, uh, but, uh, this company has been really good uh, technical team and uh, with a very strong technical expertise to focus on all the battery technology and especially for the off-grid scenario. Right, so you're a mature company, you make batteries, uh, battery modules, do you make the, the cells as well? Yeah, so the, the cell is actually from our partner company, it's called Grid Power. Grid Power is one of the biggest cell manufacturers who focus only on the energy storage. A lot of other companies, they focus on the EV, but Great Power is one of the few and largest one to focus on the energy storage only. Now, I see that you've got some of my favorite uh, off-grid brands, so uh, Victron, uh, Studer, Innotech, uh, Cellectronic, of course, and SMA. So you're very focused uh, on the off-grid market? Yeah, pretty much uh, for the off-grid markets. As you can see, we're working with all the off-grid inverters, but also actually our battery can also do on-grid as well. So it just, just depends on the customer's choice. So I'll give you the customer a very flexible product from our end. So I guess these are all in parallel. So it's a nominal 51.2 volt uh, system. Uh, tell me a bit about each battery module. What's its uh, key features? Yeah, right. So each battery module is uh, five kilowatt hours usable energy. And then the key features is, uh, I think we've got quite a few features as well. <laughs> One of that is uh, the battery can do self-managed and the manage the mode. So two options for the customer. And second of that, we've got a very good low temperature performance, which means that we can charge in from minus 10 degree. And the third one is that, so this one we can do 1C continuously and 2C for the peak. Yeah. And the other one is that we've got a pre-wet cabinet, which is all the cables pre wet with the DC bus bus. And we've got two options of the cabinet, so the smaller one, six modules, and the t big one is 10 modules. And I think um, we also have the monitoring platform. As, as long as the customer have the Wi-Fi to connect it on site, we can monitoring, we can remote update the firmware through the, our portal. And it's hot swapping and it's automatic settings, and it's compatible with a range of the main inverters in our Australian market. So I think that's pretty much all what we have, and we got a local warehouse, local support, and the local reputable uh, distributors. First thing that got me excited, uh, so these are both a managed and a self-managed battery. So just to explain to the viewers, a managed battery is one which means it has communication with the charging device. So in this case, it could be the Victron, the Studer. In fact, you've got a whole list of inverters there on the wall. I won't, I won't list them all. So you've integrated with a lot of uh, major brands that work both in off-grid and on-grid markets. But self-managed means it's effectively a simple battery that could be used with any inverter that supports, say, a lead-acid profile, exactly. and you just set the, the charging voltage and, um, and, and current settings. Now, um, the other thing I was impressed by is the energy density. Five kilowatt hours usable, not just the magical five kilowatt hours and we won't tell you how much you can use. Uh, that, that's pretty impressive. So how do you do that? Yeah, I think, I think with the, the innovation of the technology is always improving. So we're using the latest uh, the 100 apps cell, and then we have um, the cell and uh, with all that information so we can make that very, very um, high density modules on, the, on this one. This is a 10 module stack, so like 50 kilowatt hours of usable energy, and with the smaller one, 30 kilowatt hours of the six unit. Um, those are very nice numbers, but you know, some people are greedy like me, and I want 100 kilowatt hours. Can I do that? Yeah, of course, no doubt. So we can do up to 64 modules, which is uh, 320 kilowatt hours maximum. So we just uh, listen to the market that there's average capacity for offer is probably 20 to 30. So we got a smaller one, six modules, which is the 30. And some bigger capacity, we got 50 kilowatt hours. But you can also parallel multiple racks to get a bigger one. So if you want to have 100, two, two, two 10 cabinets, you've got 150, three cabinets. So we already had a few with a 50 kilowatt hours installed and it's pretty, pretty good, yeah. And you can also expansion in the later stage as well. 
Right, so uh, 320 kilowatt hours, um, that's a lot of cabinets. That's six and a bit cabinets. Uh, wow, I'm going to need a big shed to put all these in. But one thing you mentioned, the low temperature charging, like minus 10 degrees at normal charge rates. So low temperature is actually the very common issue. I won't say issue, but it's a common thing for the lithium batteries. Um, so with the battery, uh, sorry, with the temperature goes down, the charging will, will, will be degrading. But all batteries that we can do normally 1C, uh, when the charging, sorry, when the temperature goes below zero, it will also some degrading, but you still can charge up to, uh, down to minus 10. But the reason is that we, we think we need to resolve the issue for the power in an off-grid scenario. So we're using a bit of different uh, um, technology or chemistry ratio when we design this product. So it definitely will charge up yeah, down to minus 10 to provide the power for the customer. Well, I like the sound of that because uh, back at home it's winter time and uh, I just heard it was minus three at my place. And uh, you know, you, when you're off grid, you want to get every bit of charge into those batteries you can. So I'm pretty excited by what you've achieved here, Joey. Uh, so thanks for talking to us. Yeah, thank you very much for the talk. Thank you.